Hello, my name is John Hull, and I'd like to introduce a new course I'm offering entitled Options, Futures, and Other Derivatives. It's an online course. I'm the Maple Financial Professor of Derivatives and Risk Management of the Joseph L. Rotman School of Management here at the University of Toronto. Sorry, that's quite a mouthful. So what I'd like to do in this short video is introduce the course for you, tell you a little bit about what you can expect to learn on the course if you take it. So the agenda for this short video is I'm going to talk a bit about the course content and then about the course objectives and intended outcomes and finally talk about some administrative issues. So let's start with the course content. During the course you'll learn about many different types of derivatives. In particular you'll learn about futures, forwards, swaps and options. You'll learn about how these derivatives work, how they're traded, how they're used and how they're valued. As far as trading is concerned, there's two main markets in which derivatives trade. Derivatives trade in the over-the-counter market and they trade on exchanges. We'll talk quite a bit about both markets on this course. The over-the-counter market is pretty interesting right now because prior to the crisis, the credit crisis that started in 2007, there was very little regulation of the over-the-counter market. But since the crisis, there's been a lot of regulation introduced and we'll be having a look at that and trying to understand the regulation that has been introduced for the over-the-counter market. We'll talk about how derivatives are used. They're used for hedging, they're used for speculation, they're used to take advantage of arbitrage opportunities. They're used to change the nature of a liability. And they're used to change the nature of an asset. So there's many different uses for derivatives. And that, in part, explains the popularity of derivatives. We'll also be talking about how derivatives are valued. As its name implies, a derivative contract is something whose value derives from the value of something else. Take a stock option, for example. The value of a stock option derives from the price of the underlying stock. What we'll be doing on this course is talking about what it is that determines the relationship between the value of a stock option and the value of the underlying stock. OK, let's now move on to talk about course objectives and intended outcomes. The course objectives are that you should understand the nature of all the contracts we talk about, futures, forwards, swaps, and options, and how these contracts are priced and how they're used. We'll, um, for example, if uh, the price of a stock option is $3, as a result of taking this course, you will understand how that $3 is calculated, what it depends on, and so on. We'll be analyzing derivatives trading on many different underlying assets. We'll be analyzing derivatives trading on stocks, stock indices, currencies, interest rates, commodities, and much more. You'll learn about uh, things called Greek letters. These are delta, gamma, vega, rho, and so on. Uh, actually, vega is not a Greek letter. Um, but uh, as far as derivative traders are concerned, they call it a Greek letter. Um, but these, this delta, gamma, vega, rho, all describe different aspects of the risk in a derivative or a derivatives portfolio, and we'll be understanding them on this course. We'll learn about implied volatilities, which are very widely used by traders, and we'll be learning about the famous Black-Scholes model, which you've probably heard about. Let me say a little bit about the administrative arrangements on the course. The book for the course is my own book, Options, Futures, and Other Derivatives. It's got the same name as the course. And we'll be using the eighth edition of the book. Um, the book is actually the best-selling textbook on derivatives. But one of the interesting things about the book is that it sells equally well in what my publishers call the trade market and what my publishers call the college market. The trade market is the is the market that is described by people who trade derivatives and people who analyze derivatives. And the college market, of course, is the university market. So my book's unusual in that it sells equally well to those two quite different markets. The course lasts seven weeks. There'll be four or five videos each week. Each video will be 
20 to 30 minutes long. So you have somewhere between one and a half and two hours of instruction each week. There are multiple choice homework assignments for you to do at the end of each week. Those homework assignments will be equally weighted. So each homework assignment will count one seventh towards your overall mark on the course. You'll have an opportunity to ask me questions and communicate with other students online as the course progresses. And if you do sufficiently well on the homework assignments, you'll receive a certificate of course completion signed by me. So as far as I'm concerned, this is you know, an exciting venture. This is the first online course I've ever created. And I hope it'll be an enjoyable and useful experience for you. I look forward to having you on the course. Thank you.